It's a popular buffet with six locations around the Bay Area, but one of its restaurants had to stop serving food for almost 24 hours because of a major roach problem. This place also had food temperature violations during every inspection in the state's last five visits. It's the latest restaurant to make my dirty dining list. Did you just eat here? Yes, I did. Luis Perez enjoys the big buffet at Golden Corral on West Hillsboro Avenue in Tampa at least once a week. What do you like about it? What do I like about it? Oh, the, 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 the way you can just go about and serve all your food and, you know, and just get your stuff, get whatever you want. So he was shocked to hear food safety inspectors closed its doors recently because of roaches. I wish I would have known. I probably wouldn't have eaten here. On January 10th, the state found over 35 live and dead roaches under the Asian buffet, cooking station, and reaching cooler, and roach feces on the buffet legs, equipment, and walls, shutting down the restaurant for almost 24 hours. That's crazy. And roaches have been a problem in the past, seen in October of 2011, too. So we went in to get some answers. Um, I'm Wendy Ryan with ABC Action News. I wanted to talk to a manager in regards to your latest inspection report where you were shut down by the state. No, thank you. We have no comment. You have no comment. No, but the state had plenty to say, finding improper temperatures in every inspection over the last 15 months. Two weeks ago, guacamole, ham, chicken, eggs, and butter were all well above the minimum 41 degrees, which could make someone sick. But I've never been sick, so I can't say that. Also during that visit, inspectors documented 12 high priority and intermediate violations and 47 basic violations under their new grading system. A repeat high priority violation included employees not washing their hands. Among the other critical issues written up over the last year, the salad bar refrigeration unit not turned on with potentially hazardous food too warm that had to be destroyed. And barbecued chicken and pork on the hot buffet line below 135 degrees. But this loyal customer hopes their practices improve soon. You think the management should be on it, better on it? Definitely. I own a place myself and I know what that's all about. Now, I reached out to Golden Corral's corporate office, and they sent me this email response. It reads in part, quote, We have been assured by the franchisee that the issues have been resolved. Our first priority is always to provide high-quality food in a safe and family-oriented environment. To see the company's entire response and the inspection reports of this restaurant and other dirty dining stories, head over to our website, abcactionnews.com slash dining.